What's your garden like? Have a look at your garden and draw a rough outline of its shape, borders, and elements within it, such as paths and driveways, flower beds, the house, trees, ponds or pools, if any are present. In choosing the right robot for you, you already evaluated the total garden size by multiplying the maximum length by the maximum width, thereby obtaining an estimate of the surface your robot has to manage. This calculation is intrinsic of the complexity given by all the elements in your garden. The presence of narrow passages of less than two meters or of paths you don't wish the robot to casually cross required the division of your garden into multiple working areas. Dividing the garden into multiple zones improves your robot's cutting efficiency. Identify the primary area where the charging station will be placed. Then determine the secondary areas and assign them a number, 1, 2, and so on. Let's now have a look at the elements present in your garden. The robot recognizes obstacles that are higher than 10 centimeters. It softly collides with them and then changes direction to continue its work. You need to use the perimeter wire to delineate all obstacles that are not enclosed by fences, such as flower beds at ground level, are lower than 10 centimeters, such as pavements you do not want the robot to go over, present inclined surfaces, such as trees with protruding roots. The robot manages slopes of up to 45%, Fill in eventual holes on the ground and remove any stones or other obstacles from it 